so hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're an OG what's up what's going on and what you're doing like right so guys today I am going to review the fit me Maybelline product basically the brand is Maybelline so I'm going to do a Maybelline tutorial I am going to use multiple shades on my face in terms of like Maybelline concern so I have right here my foundations there are three of them this one's here are the shades the light and the medium and the dark tone the light shade is in a shade of 359 and the medium shade is in a shade of 360 okay 360 and the darker one is in a shade of 378 so my name is shade is the 360 so just watch the video i'm gonna tell you more about the foundations then in terms of like um powders i have three powders as well Ooh, child how are you gonna be messed up i also have three powders the first one is in a shade of 230 which is the natural buff and the second one is 370 which is the espresso that's my normal shade and it's an all gang as you can see i'm almost reaching the pen i'm almost reaching the pen and this one i'm a bit confused i'll tell you why guys this one is a 362 in a shade of golden dip i'm a bit confused right here can you see these numbers can you focus back on me like can you see these numbers this is the, the 362 and this is the 70 370 which is like my normal shade and look at this this is the darker one and this is the lighter one but the numbers this is the younger number than this one like it doesn't make sense Ooh, can i just close like i'm kind of confused no lies but it is what it is guys so i can't wait oh yes i also have concealers new packaging <laughs> this one is my shade and this one so new packaging guys so guys please stay tuned and we're looking so stunning we're looking so beautiful and we're rocking stay tuned while i dive in this look inspired by my cousin but the products are from maybelline so i'm going to start by applying lotion yeah. i'm using this nivea rose k the only thing that I had when I washed my face was a serum. Like, um, I toned my face and I had a serum. Uh, 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 I never applied the moisturizer. Uh, so, it's now that I am applying. I'm just gonna massage it thoroughly through my entire face. I love, I love using gel instead of cream because a gel will leave your face feeling um not you know when you applying something and you have this consist i mean um stickiness um consistency and you can still feel it on your uh, on, on your face so the reason why i love the gels when i buy my daily uh face product is that i love the consistency on the face like it's not sticky it's not creamy it is just like my face feels great <laughs> my face feel very great so yes then we're going in with sunscreen it is very important to put on a sunscreen to wear your sunscreen guys believe me when i say so Ooh, child I look crazy right now but trust the process <laughs> one thing about sunscreens you know the reason why um they make it to be like this they want you to massage it like massage the product thoroughly in your skin this is why they will uh, this is why most of the 
they make it to be like this look how crazy i'm looking but give it a sec <laughs> look how gray i'm looking i mean like <laughs> oh my goodness but i know that um it, it should absorb in my face in my skin so to say and then uh, yeah it will absorb in my in my skin then i will look normal because i'm used to this sunscreen okay let's get into business like i say i am reviewing the maybelline products most of the basic products they're from maybelline but here and there i'm just gonna throw in some other brands in fact it's just one brand that i am gonna use just to like you know um if i don't have that certain product um on my maybelline collection so i'm just gonna put it in right now i am going to prime my face i am using the new baby skin instant pose eraser light which just to apply it i am going to concentrate and focus on my center of my face oh girl you almost done uh, okay this lady is almost done do you see how um the sunscreen has absorbed on my face okay guys like i said i am reviewing the maybelline products yeah i'm just gonna use the maybelline product but i am gonna throw in some other products where i feel like you know um i don't have a certain product from maybelline then i'm just gonna throw in that product ah my face feels like you know what baby's bump <laughs> That's how I feel with my face. That's how I feel with my face. Then I will apply color mine. A glass again at the center of my um my face or at the T zone of my face because guys, my face, I mean my T zone goes insane. Like seriously, it goes insane. Especially now in summer, I'll be oily on my T zone. Then I do not know what the heck is going on. So just to prevent the oil and to have a long lasting look throughout the day, I'll just have to apply a color mine. This is not anyway my daily routine. It's only on those days whereby I just want to wear a full face. All right, oh, I look crazy. <laughs> I look crazy, but nah, I just look crazy. But trust the process, as they always say, trust the process okay now let's go to foundation i'm about to start i'm about to kick for go like okay going to start now i'm applying foundation first i'm going to use the fit me maybelline foundation matte and poseless it says it's from normal to oily skin so if you have a normal skin you can put it in if you have um an oily skin you can put it in because it's matte this one is in a shade of uh, 359 but the thing is with this one it's a bit red when i put it on my face it has a reddish undertone the 359 so i bought a darker one just to like complement and supplement the colors let me show you this is the 360 that i'm gonna put now let me show you what do I mean when I say it's reddish. Okay, this is my tone. This is my shade, right? Okay, and this is the 359. It has a reddish, you see? It has sort of like a reddish tone. I'll just blend it in, then you will get to see this one. You can see it now. It's like my shade. Okay. Then with this one, let me blend it in here. You see? This one and this one. Okay. Let me continue blend. This one and this one. This one, it's no, like it's, it meshes my skin. It meshes my tone. Whereas the other one, it has a reddish and so So the darker one, I bought it so that it can balance the tone situation i do not know whether you understand me if you don't understand get out of here 
okay <laughs> okay let's just try to apply like guys this look has been inspired oh god i feel like every look that i have has been inspired by someone <laughs> But honestly, this look has been inspired by my cousin. So, yeah. She, she just relocated to a new city. I'm heartbroken, but I'm happy for her because she got a new offer, which is a great offer. So, she's one person who constantly um, motivates me to, like, keep on, like, doing what I love and, like, do this and continue creating content and focusing on what I want to be or i want to achieve so yeah she has encouraged me a lot i'll go in with the second layer but even this one, I feel like it's fine. Because I want to mix this one and the other one now. Do you see the balance that it brings? when I add the dark one. Today it feels so strange because, you know, <laughs> I started with my face instead of like starting with my eyebrows. Normally I will start with eyebrows, then I will go and do my entire face. Okay, start with eyebrows and I will do, um, I will do my eyeshadow. Yeah. I will then go in with a damp beauty blender just to blend and, and to pick up the excess product that I have and I don't want it to be like so cakey on my face. All right, oh, now I'm happy with my face. Like it looks so flawless. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Um, I'm going to contour and highlight my face. I have two concealers here. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is a gangster. The the lighter one is a gangster. So I had it for like years, and they are in a shade of 35 and 60. So this one, the 61, is my shade. So I'm going to use both of them to highlight, and I'm going to use the dark foundation to contour. It's in a shade of 378. So that's what I'm gonna use to contour i do not know whether you guys you start with contouring or highlighting normally i start with highlighting but just for oh yeah, just for today's sake let me just start by contouring before i highlight I'm still using the very same brush that I was using um, when I was putting in foundation. I normally contour my lips, guys. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I love contouring my lips. Let's see. Ooh, child, what are you doing? Okay. With contour, it's very tricky, guys. Because sometimes you can just put contour a contour shade and you will find that it's the same shade as your normal shade, especially to us dark ladies. 
so it's like whatever so i'm going to use i'm going to use the 60 just to highlight I do not know whether it's the new packaging or with the new packaging it came a new formula for the um for the concealers because honestly i am not feeling the new consistency of this concealer this is the new packaging it's like so long here but even the consistency it's not like this one i do not know i honestly don't know then i will go in with my blender again yeah i am seriously not feeling this consistency If you both if you know the difference between the old one and this one just holler me and tell me how do you feel is it me or <laughs> is it me or really this thing that's how it is so i'm just gonna put the 35 one just to bring back uh, the brightness i'm not gonna go crazy on it just a little bit while i'm still waiting for that to like dry up i'm just gonna take the beauty blender on the foundation side and i'll go in my contour and make everything seamless because as you can see my contour is like a very crazy at this point yes plan 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 tap 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 okay here we are I'm just gonna reverse contour with the 360 because like I said it's the same shade as my shade uh -uh, this bottles feel so empty the new bottles they like guys why not I have a problem with everything now feel like this bottle is not like I opened it a month ago and i haven't been applying it for the longest longest time but it's almost done hey people they're gonna gamble with you hey you should watch i'm telling you you should have friends who gamble okay i need a mirror so that you can see what i'm doing okay okay i'll go in here i don't want to spread it like in my entire chin it's just like here at this center point and even here i don't want to go above my forehead i'll just keep it right here then under my eyes the same goes i don't want to drag it down What I can do is I can cover my eyelid. Cool. Okay. Okay, this one is not well blended. Let me just go in with this side for my foundation. And I think I need to stock up a lot of um, contouring shades because I feel like what highlighting i have a lot of shades like i'm covered so with contouring it's still a hassle <laughs> like it's still a mess because i'm dark so it's like you can't find something that will be similar to call to you shade like in terms of like the darkness and everything because even if i contoured my nose let me go in with this brush You barely see that I contoured, you know. Oh, okay, it is what it is. Then, then we're gonna go in the powders. I have three powders, two from the new packaging and one from 
the old packaging is the fit me maybelline matte and pose powder okay the old one is in a shade of 300 and like guys i don't know what happened um my camera just decided to die on me and i didn't see that i was going in and in i was busy shooting so what i did is i used the two i'll, I'll go through again the products once i'm done applying the product because i don't want here to be like very dry to sit for long rather so i was i used the 330 just to base my highlight like i rub it through so i can't do it because i'm done with contouring i mean with highlighting so i rub it through like this i did rub it through i'll just do it here and i apply it like this so i was done with this part you know so i'm gonna just go to my reverse contour and just do like this a little bit because i don't want it to be like a very crazy okay cool then i will go in with the 362 to enforce the contour Just to powder my contour. Uh, uh, the new packaging came with a new formula in terms of like the product quality. Uh, like honestly, guys, uh, uh, it came with a new formula. I don't want to lie to you. Even the powder as well, you have to pick it up. Like how you pick it up your loose powders. Yeah, and with the old one, you didn't have to pick it up. You had to rub it through, you know. Um, I need a mirror for this one. Just go in here. And I will take a small onion and brush. Do my nose. I will first take the highlighting powder and just go through like this with the highlighting powder yeah. then I will take the contouring with another brush this is an angle brush angle brush and the one that I was using to highlight is like a pointing brush okay I will take this and like Let's try to like not this camera. Today I just wanna wanna put the contouring from my eyebrows and just bring it down like this. So that when I do my eyebrows, everything will be seamless. Okay. Okay, we are done with this. Don't worry, I'll put it together when I put on um, the powder, which is like my shade, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'll start here, putting in the powder. Where I had the contouring um, and the hug. Make sure that you blend, 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 blend. Okay, let me look at myself in this mirror. Ah, this one is deceiving because it's like right here on your face. You barely see anything. <laughs> Not like you can't see anything, but in terms of like, you want to see the true things. Like stuff. Okay, now I'm going to just um, apply what you call bronzer on my face and highlight before I go into my eyes let me see a brush here there's a brush that i was using yesterday and i kind of love it for bronzing my face it's dirty i am so sorry i'm not that girl who comes on the screen with dirty brushes so i'm sorry so i'm gonna use this um shade here it looks so orange yet it's bronze i'm going to use this as my bronzer and this one as my blush and this one to highlight 
so it's not a Maybelline product it is what it is <laughs> so I'm just gonna bronze hey Vanna okay so I'll just blush you can go crazy with your um, blush depending how you want it you know with me I love it even on the tip point of my forehead so yeah because I don't like it here I do it nonetheless like now I'll just wipe through my brush but it's not like every day that I will do that you know if you know what I mean okay so I'll take just my foundation brush try to make everything seamless and well blended you know before I apply my eyeshadows all right also I'm going to apply highlight Ooh, child you coming through you just came through that it looks like an eyeshadow though like it's shimmery <laughs> So guys, everybody's awake in this house right now because I'm shooting it early in the morning so that I can get through uh, my day. Ciao. I love my lips. I've got the cutest lips on her. <laughs> I've got the cutest lips ever. No need to be told. I know it. Okay, I am done and let me just go in my forehead do I have that no then guys I'm going to attend my brows now child when you hear some noise everyone in this house has waken up okay I'm going to use a gel for my brows like I said, I'm not going to talk about the product that it's not from Maybelline because this video is about Maybelline. Today, I'm seriously not on focus. <laughs> I, today, I want to have strokes like brows. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Then now I'm going with the darker one, just at the tail of the eyebrow, just to give it a smooth. Do I look crazy or what? I do, right? So I'm going to use the concealer just to sculpt my eyebrows. and use it as a base for my eyeshadow then the 61 i'm gonna use it here but with this one i need a brush i can just use it like this i need a brush just to clean up I feel like using my hand now at this point will be the one then I'll go in with the contour brush and just try to make everything seamless today we're all about seamless seamless flawless look okay so I will take this and be like Okay, let's get into eyeshadows. I'm going to use the Scarlet Heel um, palette. I'm not going to talk about it, but like I said, it's one brand that I'm going to um, include. Ish, you see now. So I'm going to go in with this shade for my transition shade. It's going to be this one. Then I will have this glitter and this shimmer. The look is inspired by my cousin. Like I said, it is inspired by my cousin. One thing about this lady, 
story time as normal where's my mirror yeah my cousin learned a lot from me in terms of like makeup like she never liked makeup up until i started my youtube channel she kept on like promoting my makeup i think in a way she got <laughs> glued up you know and ooh, i'm trying to open the powder just to base my lid Yeah, she like I, I said, she never liked makeup up until she was so glued um, with my channel and everything. Then, since I saw her trying to do her eyebrows, I was like, go, come, let me school with you. And she was so excited for the offer. I'm like, okay, let me show you. Let me just give you a young training and just show you how you can like um, do your eyebrows. Because for me, I just thought it was just about the eyebrows can't you know my girl wants more than the eyebrows one day she came her eyebrows was on fleek her eyebrows was on fleek and i was like girl girl what are you doing with your face so as time goes on i saw her having eyeshadows i was like ooh this thing must is going far so i'm so i'm so happy that um she reached a point whereby she can do her own face and because every time whenever she wants to do something the pigmentation dies out. <laughs> yeah we should watch when other kids are playing we just should watch yeah i was like i was so excited because sometimes she will come by my place when it's church like when it's sunday and you're supposed to go to church she'll come by my place and be like mzala please can you fix my eyebrows mzala please can you do this to me i was like yes but now i'm so excited that at least um she can do her face i'm not, I'm not gonna be worried no longer about her face because now she snatched her makeup i do not know whether do i have pictures for the look but I'm, i think i'm gonna ask from her if she can give me the look i mean the pictures for her look for the look that inspired me to do this one you know what i mean so she's more of a natural girl but she always want her eyes to be like popping she always want her eyes to be pop popping so yeah that's what i'm gonna do <sighs> i am so excited for her for her new job yeah Okay, let me just stop talking and like continue um, with the eye while I'm not talking. Okay, then I will take um, a liquid brush. Sorry, I've already dipped it in the and go in with the darker shade just right here. Can you see how it curves my crease? Because I don't have those deep crease. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to like drag it upwards. Okay, then I'll take this brush. Just try to blend and blend and blend. Okay, I'll go in just to make it, you know. And as you can see, I'm even putting it in, drag it in, dragging it on my corner lid, on my corner yeah, crease and like dragging it out slightly like this and like this, just blend it out slightly. One day I told her, I'm like, cuz you need to come and do my face. <laughs> when I saw her having this look, I'm like, girl, what happened? What happened? Cause you need to come and cause you need i was like cause you definitely need to come i feel like here yeah, i'm not well blended mm -hmm. i'm like cause definitely you have to mm, my blender just fell you have to come and like do my face so that i can see that you're a good student <laughs> i was kidding by the way i can't do i can't let my cousin do that like i'm not testing her but i would love if she can come into my face as much as it's like very tempting to do a makeup artist's face you she have to come to my face okay i think i am happy with 
the first and the second step i think i'm very much happy let's see yeah because i don't want some patchiness and guess what i'm not even going anyway when i say anyway i wish now a road trip can call me like at the gate let's go somewhere you know i'm not gonna cut crease and everything i want to create a video because a lot of people they're like oh, we want to learn how you cut crease and everything i'm not a fan of cutting crease because you know what my eye shape like honestly god didn't give me the deep crease that i always see on people he just gave me this and you know I don't like it i don't want to force things <laughs> i'm kidding i'm being weird then i will go with the gold gold shade the gold shade here Ooh. Yeah. okay i need a small onion a brush for this let's see if i can get yeah i can get this angle fluffy brush okay i will just spray it all right let's see just here ooh the pigmentation omg the pigmentation on this phew okay ooh. i think that's how i saw it <laughs> she had this guys then she had shimmer like glitters at the center point of her lid so that's what i'm gonna do as well like i said i'm trying to imitate everything she did that one she's a glitter girl i'm telling you the other day when we were doing it for for her she was like mzala i want glitters on my lid on i mean liner glitters on my liner i was like mzala you wear lenses so how is it gonna work she's like hey find a way to make it work whoo oh mg look at this look at my eye guys look at my eye Ooh, i'm so crazy in love okay i will have it on the other side okay i'm loving every bit okay then i'll take the darker shade and just go in my lower lash so next up i will put on my liner i think that's what she came here for when she came home to show me the look she wanted me to to do her a wing liner so i was like mm, girl with that look you truly need a snatch liner like i normally do i will use two liners this one is good as a base but the other one just to drag my wing okay i think i like it i like it i make it thick because i'm still gonna stick on my lashes so i will do the other eye off camera so i'm done sticking this um lash the glue is still drying up so i'm gonna stick this one like you guys you don't want glue to touch your lashes <laughs> it's gonna be a mess i'm telling you going to go through with my Maybelline Cosal Primer Primer no mascara to scolarize my lashes I'm gonna use the mascara to mas to scolarize my lashes like guys you must first put mascara before you put lashes because you don't want your lashes to be like dirty 
it's tough to wash lashes and you don't want to add trouble to your life Ooh, but look at this volume when i gave it a mascara it is bad anyway to put mascara on your lashes believe me when i say so it is uh, very bad all right i'm gonna do my lips now i don't have anything from maybelline <laughs> so i'm gonna use the very same brand that i keep on using i'm first gonna line my lips using the beginning it's like uh, Grape orange, it's like grape orange. <sighs> this one, grape purple. So I'm just gonna use it to. Oh no 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 no! I saw this thing on uh, on on TikTok on one of the videos. I'm not a fan for TikTok. It's bad to say that, but yeah, it is what it is. They start with the lighter one at the center. Cause normally when you do in ombre lip what we do is we start with the darker one we line our lips and everything then we end with the lighter one but i saw them doing it like this okay then i will go with the darker shade with this which is a purple grape Then they try to mix them. Mm, I can see their vision. Oh, child, look at this. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. Then I will go in with the setting spray, the Maybelline Lasting Fixing Spray. I've ran out of sprays guys when I say I've ran out of space sprays I mean it I need to stock up on that I feel like I've ran out of every product <laughs> I've ran out of a lot of products which is I have to replace them it's not even funny so let's get into my baby here 